guys again. This is Stephen Daniels with DUI and Duke Consultants. We're here at the Blood Breath and Tears Seminar um, in Orlando, Florida today, September 25th. Um, I'm going to do a demonstration on, uh, this is a Tacolize 8000. Now the demonstration I'm going to do for you is I'm going to show you that the machine has problems distinguishing the difference between mouth alcohol and true breath alcohol. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to blow in the machine to show you that I'm having mouth alcohol, a breath alcohol in my breath. Here's my numbers, zeros, and I blew a 1519 yeah. breath volume. So now the machine's going to recycle. And it recycles here. I'm going to drink my, take a drink of my choice. This is a potato vodka. An excellent vodka if you like dirty martinis. Now I'm going to switch this to my mouth and then I'm going to spit it out. And then I'm going to blow this machine. Uh, so it's finished recycling here. Now I'm going to recycle it. And you'll see it's only a couple minutes. test the dry gas it's an 08 so it's ready to go what I'm going to do right now I'm going to blow into this machine just like somebody who got arrested for DUI blows no one wants to blow into this machine so I'm going to blow with a slow steady pace uh, just enough to activate this the uh, tone that you'll hear saying I'm providing sufficient sample um, if I can successfully do this I should be in the three to four range the high, highest I've gone, I've, I've blown a 547, that's on YouTube, so if you go to YouTube and Google the UI and do, my videos will be on there. Okay, I can still feel the vodka in my mouth, the burn. So here we go. You have three minutes to provide your sample. And what we're going to do now, you'll see it was an invalid sample. Now, after I'm going to do it again, and hopefully I can get a sample this time. It did pick it up that time. It did work correctly. <laughs> but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to recycle it. I'm not going to talk anymore because I want to save the alcohol that's in my mouth. and then after it clicked it bumped up uh, to 079. I'm going to blow now after this so you can see if you're watching the video how many seconds it went by. I still have a, a sting in my mouth from the vodka and hopefully I'll get you a, a it'll read as a uh, breast sample this time which is nothing but pure mouth alcohol. Again the, the demonstration show the machine has problems and distinguish between mouth alcohol and breath alcohol. Um, it's, it has nothing to do with the 20 minute observation period that's required. Here we go. Now it's not going to do it because I, I had to pause, but we'll see if we can get it done anyway.
There you go. There you go. I just did it. That's pure mouth alcohol. I blew a 108 with a 1.167. Now that's the first time I ever did that. Jason, Jason Bangles, is my cameraman. Attorney Bill Gators, going to win another championship. <laughs> Attorney Jason Bangles, he's one of the attendees of the seminar. Thank you so much. That, that's a first for me. Um, I've never been able to do that. Every time I've uh, had a pause in my breath, it'll read as a valid sample. So um, that makes me happy. I just I did that. And, I can't believe that I got it. Actually, I was, I was ticking that off. That, it, it's a, you write at the end of about five seconds is when you quit. So. Uh, well, I mean, the problem was I've never, ever got a BRAC reading like that. And as you can see, you can go ahead and stop that.